Hello stars and welcome back to the Minecraft universe. This is Jason and today we're going to be doing a mod review. So this mod is called the Traveling Houses mod and it's actually really cool. Um, it's basically meant for single player. Uh, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. It is, a, it is a mod. But I mean, it's just what I'm trying to say is it's pretty useful for single player like big time because you can actually transfer anything you want in Minecraft. So if you built something you're proud of and you want to transfer it elsewhere to maybe a new biome you want to live in or you want to transfer your house um that that's that's why it's called the traveling houses mod you can do just that so we have some new items here and we're going to actually show you how to craft them um, we're going to open up our chest here and basically uh the house packer which you're going to need for sure um this block doesn't go away you craft it once you have it forever so you use all that that mess here <laughs> to craft it and then um, then you're gonna need a corner marker now you have two choices here you got the advanced corner marker and the regular corner marker uh, you have to keep making regular corner markers if you want to keep moving things but an advanced corner marker will not go away so you can actually get it back after you have used it once and you'll see what I mean but yeah you can make uh, the corner marker just like this and then if you want to make a advanced corner marker it's gonna be way more costly because um, it actually includes the corner marker as well so that's how you make that and um, I'll show you what it does so and then the last item here is called a blueprint and you just make that with a piece of paper and a lapis lazuli and you're good to go so um, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, how'd you get out of there alright so Mini Jeffrey found his way out, and it's kind of weird because he is the smallest. I guess he may have squeezed through. All right, be free, Jeffrey, baby. Be free. Just go you, you go live on your own or something. Um, Yeah, you go. You're fine. Okay, he doesn't want to leave home. Okay, anyways, I, I guess I'll transfer you too. The way it works is that it's if, if you've ever used wand, the wand tool um, on bucket servers using essentials, or something like that then it's kinda similar to that you basically mark a corner of your build and then mark the other corner um, with the height and basically it's like a cut and paste so what you're gonna want to do is uh, I want the grass below the pig so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, my what, what's it called house packer um, on the bottom so it's gonna get whatever that layer it's gonna get this layer it's basically marking the bottom layer it's kinda of hard to explain and then you take your corner marker or your advanced corner marker and you actually build upwards um, to the height you want so I don't know, let's just get stone as a building building spot okay let's actually build or get this corner and we only need it up to like this height so we're gonna put like I don't know the corner marker right there so basically everything in between this height and uh, this width just kind of a big square will be cut um, and how you cut it is you get your blueprint and you go over and you just right click the house packer and bam everything's gone and that thing will drop out make sure you grab it um, and you got a blueprint screen uh, scheme and it says the author true move so basically um, it will leave a little weird square place but I mean if you're moving anything then I guess it wouldn't matter anyways but yeah you get your scheme and I wouldn't recommend making multiple schemes you might lose track but uh, yeah you got your scheme and then um, basically it, it, what's cool is it actually gets entities it like transports entities as well so you can get things like bats aka Dylan's or um, uh, like uh, uh, item frames, stuff like that, you know, entities. So it can transfer those as well. So what you're going to want to do is, um, say you want to, tra you get this back, say you, you get it back, I, I got it right here because I'm in creative. Um, you get it back, like I said, and the corner marker disappeared, okay? that Now if I would have used the advanced corner marker, I could have got that back as well. So, um, we get our, we got our scheme, and say we want to move our Jeffries up to the top of this mountain. Basically, you place your house packer back down, and then you just right click your blueprint screen, your scheme, I don't want to keep calling it screen, and then it'll paste it just as it was, just as it was left off. And see, check it out. We still got our Jeffries. So it's really cool. It's useful for, uh, transporting mobs and all that. And let me real quick just show you, uh, the advanced, uh, corner. Uh, corner make marker <laughs> okay so basically we do that we get this scheme out of here and then we go make a new blueprint and bam um, now where is it where's the advanced corner corner marker come on okay give me that first of all all right it shouldn't have disappeared um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on uh, might be because oh oh that's why okay so yeah you just place your scheme back down and you can get this back 
which is it it's useful. You don't want you don't want to keep making regular corner markers. So my bad for not understanding, but yeah. So you can keep it. So um, there's a bunch of clever little uses uh, posted on the form by the author, and I'm actually going to show you a few of them because you're probably going to want to uh, use use this mod for these reasons because they're actually pretty clever. So let's get uh, let's get going, and I will show you them. So you're walking along here, and oh no, you're really hungry. I'm not right now, but if I was really hungry, I'd do this. You place this down, and you pull out your uh, scheme for your cow farm, and you simply just right-click, and bam, there's your cow farm and some leaves. But uh, yeah, and then you can eh, you can you can kill some cows, get get their meats, eat eat them because you're really hungry, and then uh, what you do is you pack it back up because this scheme is gone so you get your other blueprint uh, blueprint and pack it back up and get your new scheme or get the same scheme and walk off because uh, there you're maybe in the nether or something and there's no food and you're like oh crap didn't bring food but wait a minute I got my scheme um, but yeah <laughs> that would that would actually help though it now that I think about it um, all these uses would be cool if you could rename your scheme uh, which you can do you can actually do that in the anvil so that would be useful to do it that way Okay, I'm just getting into the nether, and uh, um, there's gas everywhere. You know what? They're they're everywhere right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place this down. And eh. oh, oh, look, quick house! I can I can survive now. Oh my god, I hate this lag. But yeah, you can actually uh, take uh, structures to the nether, so that way you don't have to deal with gas trying to kill you and stuff uh, whenever you're trying to uh, I don't know survive in the nether. Uh, right when you get in anyway, but yeah, you could do that. Okay, so right here we got a schematic, and inside the schematic is a chest. Now, this chest has, is full of just stuff, and inside the chest is another schematic. And inside this schematic is, uh, is, a, is another chest, w which also has more stuff in it. So, <laughs> you, you could essentially have infinite inventory and if you have uh, one of these on you can actually pick that chest back up so it's like it's like having infinite chests in a way um, now this may seem a little uh, overpowered but uh, I, don't, I, I don't know I mean it's it first of all this takes a lot of materials uh, this takes a lot of material uh, and uh, I don't know I mean if if you end up doing it I, I guess it's not against the rules since it's kind of like a loophole but it was suggested by the author of this mod, so I guess it's okay. Um, but anyways, next next thing. Now, I also just realized um, in creative, this is kind of like world edit because placing a schematic inside a house packer um, is kind of like world edit and because uh, you don't, the schematic doesn't go away, so it's kind of like world edit uh, editing, and that's pretty cool. Um, also, you can move mob spawners and move uh, the end portal. So I thought that was really cool that you could move the end portal. I didn't think about it like that until I read that uh, sent, like thing on the form. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think there are a few more ideas, but you guys got uh, you guys can go check it out on the form itself. Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this mod. This is a really cool mod. It might be a little OP, but um, you if you die and lose your schematic, you're gonna you're in, then you you can't get that schematic back so it's really critical that you do not die like in lava or something or just out somewhere run, running about um, at night or something so yeah I mean uh, it's a really cool mod the traveling house mod uh, you can be as OP as you'd like um, in this in this mod but yeah it's really cool if you guys enjoyed the mod leave a like and uh, that's pretty much it I will talk to you stars later and see you guys yeah.